Okay. Okay. One more. I guess we got to do one more. Um, what I don't like, actually, and this is probably my fault for not actually trying to hunt out and find the source material for what Wilson was working with. And I made a reaction to Wilson's video, which is what I said I was going to do. Um, but it was my fault. I should have gone and tried to find the source video. I had mentioned at one point in time that it seemed as though that the possibility existed that he was using a toggle uh, for some form of aim assistance, if only because of that one like really awkward like spinning bullshit thing that happened on the pillar. But even more so, at one point in time during the video that I made in reaction to it, I said, oh, so we're using ESP. Because in Wilson's video, he cut out very important, very important context that I want to make sure that I go over. And if I'm being honest, this was really the only thing that I saw that looked really damning. So in this clip, Wilson is showing that he's, uh, he's, he's suddenly becoming sus. And he's like, wait a second. He pulls back, and Wilson doesn't understand why he's pulling back. And then Wilson says, okay, well, um, then he, he gets cautious, and he starts getting sneaky. And at one point, right after he passes the edge of this pillar, he goes invis, and when he gets to right here, Demo says that he hears footsteps, or he heard footsteps. He says, I heard footsteps. And Wilson's argument is that there were no footsteps. Now, in the video that I made in response to Wilson's video, I said... If there were footsteps to hear, even though Wilson was talking over them, I still would have heard them. And that's true. I would have. And there weren't any footsteps at the point in time that Demo said that he had heard them. The problem is, is that Wilson saying that he didn't hear any footsteps and there weren't any to hear is actually wrong. It's a lie. Whether he heard them or not is irrelevant. Maybe he didn't hear them, and he ended up saying, there were no footsteps, I didn't hear any footsteps. Unfortunately, he made reference to this a couple of different times. There was a clip where he was fighting, where Demo was fighting with a Chris Dagger, and Wilson said, well, I always miss with a Chris Dagger, and his reasoning behind that was, well, if I'm missing, then other people should too, and that's just not a fair assessment. You can't use anecdotes in this kind of a case. But him saying that there was no footstep audio actually isn't true. I'm going to turn up the volume here, and you might be able to hear a couple of steps but it's going to be almost impossible because Wilson is talking through this entire thing. And when you're trying to say there were no footsteps, to then not go back and try to reference the audio itself, even in a short duration, is not doing an accurate service. And I want to get to the point here in a second, but listen. Opinion, please form Let's your own. Have someone fighting here. Gameplay situation. Here's audio on the left. Be a later, be careful. Backs up for whatever reason, draws his weapon, and then sees the lights go out. And then the rest of this is... The problem is, is that he has the volume of the source audio turned down so low that even if you were trying to hear them, you couldn't. But at no point did he bother even to post the videos that he was referencing, and he's saying, go do it yourself and check it out or whatever, but you'd have to go and, like, do the legwork yourself and search out the titles for the videos instead of him providing the source material, like any good journalist would. Well, I went and I got the source material, and I can tell you that there's absolutely footsteps. And unfortunately, what happened was, he took this out of context, because what he did is he cut out the section that happened immediately before he went to fight this rogue. And I want to play this for you now. Hmm. Looks like we have someone fighting here. Immediately before that, right after he leaves the inventory, you can hear a wizard casting a lightning strike. Hmm. Plain as day. It's right there. So automatically, you hear a lightning strike on the wall. Outside to the left, probably in this hallway right here, would be my guess. But it was enough to put him, like, to caution. He figures maybe they had the line of sight cut off because the pillar's in the way. Maybe they walk straight back, trying to keep line of sight cut off to Demo. And they work their way through this open door, which makes sense. Oops. So he's going to take a few steps, and like he doesn't see anybody through the door, and then he sees this rogue right here. And honestly, Demo got lucky, because the rogue wasn't turned left to see him come out of stealth. Instead, he had his back to him and didn't realize that Demo was here. They literally missed each other by this much. Honestly, it's just smart play. I don't think, after having that much context, that this was ESP at all. I don't. And honestly, Wilson should have done his job better and provided that context to people if he was trying to make a compelling argument. 
That was messed up. There was uh, one other piece here. He mentions in this part that uh, him saying or Demo saying to so bad that he knows he has legendary stuff. I know for sure he has legendary stuff is like weird. It's sus. How else would he know that he has legendary stuff? In most cases, especially after next season starts, I would agree with you. It would be weird. However, in this season, in all prior seasons, in all prior playtests, except for one little buggy moment in time, we had the ability to, and still have the ability to, inspect everybody in the pre-lobby. And then you can go, okay, well, I mean, this is a year ago, so this is probably when Goblin was a solo-only dungeon. So we're talking about a year ago, inspecting an individual rogue, keep in mind how many rogues there are running around in HR Goblin caves, and then go, all right, well, he has legendary stuff. Maybe there was only a one other rogue on the map at the time? That one other rogue had legendary gear? I mean, you're going to probably mark that in your mind, right? We do that all the time. I recognize constant comps when we're running around now. Today, we ran into the same three barb comp. There was a wizard that had golden robes on. And as soon as I saw golden robes come around the corner for the second raid in a row, I went, oh, it's that three man again. Same team. Now, whether or not it was the same team, I got no idea. Turns out it actually was. Because they look the same as they did the round before. It's just how the game gets played. Even even the clip where he was doing like the 180 spin and like throwing the Francesca axe. Like this bit here, he throws a Franny and then he spins around and throws it at the pillar. Like to me, this just looks like he didn't want to throw the axe away. And didn't mean to throw it at the time. You can see him bobble with it. He actually canceled it. But I think he, he hit F to cancel in the middle of the throw. It's like you can, you can hit F right, right here. So he's got the he's got the axe back and he's getting ready to throw it and you can see that he presses F and he cancels it and then he ends up fat fingering the left click a second time. And I think instead of throwing it at the barb and potentially losing the blue franny, he spins 180 and tries to like throw it at the ground just so that he could go pick it back up and re-equip it instead for like a better opportunity to throw it. Cancels it and throws it at the the elevator wall or whatever and goes and picks it back up. And he didn't realize that there was another guy behind the pillar that just like happened to be one there. But for me, it's like, all right, well, if, if there's a dude hiding behind the pillar, like, let's say there's a dude in line with this. If the guy is using some kind of aimbot, I don't know of any aimbot that purposefully aims at your legs. And if this is the case, like, let's say there is a character model back here, you're throwing it at their feet. I mean, I thought aimbots were supposed to snap, like, to the upper chest or head or something. That's what he claimed in earlier portions of the video that Wilson had made. Why wouldn't he be trying to snap to the wireframe or whatever that apparently is behind the pillar? This would be significantly higher. And that doesn't make any sense to me. Now, in the onset, yeah, doing an instant reaction to it, it looked weird. But this is easily explained. So, with that being said, I am not convinced that anything that, that Wilson provided in that video as of this point is damning at all. To me, it looks like Demo, who's got like 4,500 hours probably in this game between the playtests and since Dark and Darker went live and actually started tracking hours, I mean, just in the live time, the guy's got 3,500 in game. Not including the playtest, so he's probably over north of 4,000 at minimum. If that's the case, and the dude is making highlight videos or whatever, sometimes that stuff is going to end up looking weird. To me, honestly, having things in context, it just looks like he's got good game sense. If I'm being honest, I haven't seen anything that's really damning. It just doesn't look weird to me. Not anymore. Not after I got context. I don't know. Obviously, you guys can make your own decisions. But to me, it looks like Wilson's on a witch hunt. And it looks like he took an awful lot of stuff out of context. And the way that he presented it was something that I do not appreciate. Because having reacted to it, and Wilson, I thought, prior to now, was a pretty smart dude. But reacting to it the way that I have, to me, it just looks like Wilson either just doesn't understand, doesn't have the level of understanding necessary to see somebody that's got good games since playing the game at a higher level, or for whatever reason decided that he doesn't like Demo, because maybe because Demo killed him and wanted to just slag the guy, made him look bad on purpose. I don't know. At any rate, though, I don't think he's cheating. I really don't. I just think he's better. He's just a good player. That's it. Anyway, guys, that's what I have for this one. Thanks for coming and checking it out. As always, give me a give me a sub here on YouTube if you end up liking the content. Otherwise. Uh, you can always follow me over at twitch.tv slash one pack. I stream every day. I'm going to be a little bit late tomorrow morning, though, because it looks like it's about 1230 a.m. And normally I start around 6 a.m. So uh, I'm probably going to be a little late. But appreciate you all. Thank you for coming by. Thank you for letting me your eyeballs. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.